All right, y'all. So, how y'all doing? We are Transformation Success Secrets with Jamal and John. All right, good. So, week three of the challenge, okay? And um, the results have been amazing. We began people on the scale. Um, after this week, people have been asking us, you know, um, when can they uh, do their body fat and stuff? If you want to know that stuff, whoever did the embodies after this week, you know, we get the results for your halfway mark. Um, but so here's the deal, right? So we got people who are crushing and seeing amazing results, and some of you right now are struggling, and you're like, "What the heck is going on?" Right? So I've had a couple of people get on the scale, and they're unhappy with their progress so far. And the biggest thing's like. Jamal, I don't get it. I'm here five times a week. I work out every damn time. What's going on? Like, I, why am I not seeing results? I only lost 0.6 pounds to this week. First of all, congrats on your 0.6 pounds, yeah. boss. That's progress, right? You're moving forward, right? You're not stagnant. You're moving forward. You're doing something. So obviously, it shows your five days uh, a week resulted in something here, right? Now, what I've said to the last 10 people who were struggling that came up to me, what do you think I said to them? What do you think I said to them? First thing I ask is, are you following? The goddamn <laughs> yeah, the Not damn, the damn. The goddamn. Goddamn. Instructions? Yeah. Are you following it? Huh? <laughs> Can you look me in the eye with a straight face and tell me you were following the damn instructions? And I can't. Can you do the people's eye? Can you do the people's eye? Yeah. You, can, you, do that, you do that pretty good. Right? <laughs> FTDI! I know, man! People are like, ah, oh, but, 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 I'm like... Stop the excuses. So, that's the thing. It, it's... This is not, there's no magic to this shit, y'all. It's a process. Today, Rose, Rose is looking, Rose, you are looking amazing, Ooh. by the way. She's looking good. She's feeling good. I'm like, Rose, I feel like I feel good because I look good. I'm like, yeah. 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 So I'm talking about, she's like, Jaman, I just trust the process. I'm like, you follow the demonstration? She's like, yeah, sure am. And she's looking amazing, right? Nikki was doing the, the was doing the tricep, if you did the video I posted, and she's like, Jamal, the best thing you ever told me was trust the process. Right? Yeah, Rose! Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Rose, Rose. She's looking good. But it, she's like, she, she was like, it works. I was like, yeah, yeah it, it works. works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. You know, because it's so, it's, it's crazy how, you know, we, we think that the exercise is everything. I got to work out every day or two times a week or do extra cardio. Do extra, do, do. Listen, the fitness is just 20% of the results. 20%, that's it, right? No matter if you do three sessions, it's, all, it's still 20% of the results. When you do two back-to-back -back sessions, even more so do you have to focus on that other 80%. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we base the 80% of your nutrition and everything that happen on you actually doing one workout session, right? So. When you start doing a lot more than your body can handle, when you put your body in such a catabolic state, a catabolic state is a breakdown state, right? That's when yep. pretty much... It, that was me yesterday. That, yeah, you're like... Uh, and then we get to such it's seven, like, it ain't open till 11, yeah, oh 11 30, God, They wanted like, to kill me for the team meeting yesterday. You know, like, yeah, uh, the team meeting, like, we were supposed to go out to eat. I, I didn't like, know, man. And he, he sent us, we go somewhere where it doesn't open till 11.30, and we get there at 11, and we're all dying. Like, like, everybody's yeah, like, ugh. I'm a... <laughs> like... <laughs> Right, so we were in the calabotic state because we haven't eaten in like five hours. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, so that's the thing. Like, you know, you don't want to put your body in a breakdown state where the mm. body keep it there for so long, where your body just eating away at the muscles. It's your not good, burn. you know. So the thing is, like, this is twenty percent, right? So when you show up here five times a week, great, check, you got that done. What's happening? The other 23 hours that you're not here, that's what that's yeah. what we're concerned with. That's where the results happen, right? How you're sleeping. Are you getting enough sleep? Mm -hmm. your, your, your hydration, right? Your hydration is huge. Are you drinking enough water, Fuck right? Vodka, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you drinking vodka. 
<laughs> right. I'm what, not, I'm not. what are you drinking? Vodka is you know not saying? water, people. And your meal plan. Are you, you know, again, I was talking to somebody else today, got on the scale, unhappy, lost 0.8 pounds, which is fucking awesome. Awesome. But it's like, I'm not going to lose 20 pounds in, in, in six weeks. It, I'm like, listen, I get that, right? But what are you doing right now, right? What are you doing? Let's talk. Let's talk. Because I listen, if you guys are struggling, talk to us because we'll yeah. figure this shit out easily. What are you doing? So how many meals did you have to, uh, uh, yesterday? Uh, I only ate one meal. What else did you have? Well, I drank two shakes. Okay. Um, so when it was a shake in the morning, uh, one shake in the morning, lunch, and then a shake. And I'm like, I pulled this out. I'm like, it doesn't say a shake, lunch, and then a shake in here. It says five meals, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> man. So I'm like, you can't try to figure this out on your own. Be with eyebrow. Like, you know, you can't try to just figure out and do what you want. So the thing is like, if you if you know you're 100%, 100% following the damn instructions and you're not seeing the results, like it's, then, it's, then it's like, then okay, it's what's going on, right? What's going on? And this is where we also look at, okay, so it's 20% workouts, 80% nutrition, and 100% mindset, right? 100%. So when some of you are like, you know, oh, I lost motivation today. I don't feel good. I don't feel like going on to this up here, right? This is what feels first. Right now, this is where, literally, we're halfway through this challenge. This is where the rubber meets the road, right? This is where the people who are cut out for this shit will keep going. And the people who always give up, who always give up, who think they failed, right? Oh, it's three, week three, and I only lost four pounds. I'm not gonna lose 20 pounds and get, you know, and 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 and, and get the, the 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 goal that I set for this challenge. I'm gonna give up, right? That's a failed mindset, right? And then go back to old habits, right? That's so that's not what we're about. about. That's yeah. not what we're about. You know, you could ask anybody who's been here for a while. It's a process. It's a process. It's a journey, right? So you gotta stick through it. And if if this is ever like in here, there are book suggestions. I don't even know if you guys got to this part, right? Book suggestions that's gonna actually reframe or rewire do yeah. this for you, recondition you. right? It, it's like the four agreements, for example, right? That's one of the best books. Awesome book. So, if you're not, if you haven't read anything from here, you're not feeding this, right? You feed your muscles, right, to grow. What are you feeding your mind to grow, to change the way you think? Your, your negative yourself, your, your self doubts and negative self beliefs and how you perceive yourself and how you think others perceive you, right? Because that's what the problem is, right? So what are you doing every day? What are you feeding your mind so that you can progress and you can see yourself in a different light so you can have more self love and accept and appreciate yourself a lot more, right? That's, 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 that's a big thing that I'm noticing as well. So some of us, it's like, you know, want this pity party of like, whoa, me kind of thing. And I'm going through this. It's like, you gotta, you gotta fortify your mind. You have to strengthen your mind so that that way, when that storm hits you, you know how to brace for it, right? You're not just like, whoa, okay. Like, that's it. It's over. I'm done. Yeah. Right. And you go back to old habits. Right. So you, you, you gotta literally feed you. So go back into this thing. Pick a book. If you're not reading anything right now, start with the four agreements or loving what is, right? Those two down there. Loving what is going to teach you how to appreciate who you are. Like, I read. John and I, that was the one biggest thing that we had in common that literally I was like, I, this dude belongs here because it's like, what are you reading? Every time I text him, ask him, what are you reading? What are you reading? Every time, what are you reading? Same with Hop. Hop, what are you reading? Because that's what it's about, right? It's, it's, it's about what's up here and constantly improving. Okay, that's why, so if right now, if, if you're having all this like, you know, uh, uh, self-doubt, negative self-belief and not thinking you can achieve anything, you gotta say, okay, what are you feeding your mind? You know what I'm saying? So what you're feeding your mind, what you're feeding your body are the two most important things. This is the least, honestly. Yeah. I've seen people lose a lot of weight, transform their body because it starts here. Yep. It starts here. Right? And you can fix this, right? Some people want happiness, right? In the end, it's like we all want to be happy, mm -hmm. right? And right now you're unhappy with the way you look, the way you feel, right? 
And we think exercise and diet and you know, food, if you transform your body, it's gonna get happiness. Yes, that's gonna help. Mm -hmm. But how about we try to find happiness first, right? And then use the exercise as a catalyst to get even more happiness. But if you rely on, okay, maybe if I lose 20 pounds, I'll be happy. I've seen people lose 20 pounds and not get happy because mm -hmm. there's other shit going on, no right? There's no fulfillment there, right? So you got to find what's fulfilling that's going to help you get happy so that when you do lose the 20 pounds, you'll be like, woohoo, taking your shirt off and everything, getting excited, right? Because it's like you, you get there, you're not happy, and what happens? You gain it right back because you're like, well, that didn't make me happy. Screw that. Let me try finding something else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is like right now we are on the third week of this challenge. It's not over. Yeah. It's not over. Yeah. Some of you that want to throw in the towel and you're like, well, okay. only it's been three weeks and I'm only six pounds down. And you know what? This is bullshit. It's not working. And you're going to quit. Do not quit. Okay? Because yeah. you can accomplish so much in three weeks. But the biggest thing is that if you go forward, if you move forward from now, we're doing the strategies we just told you about improving your mindset, right? Going back to fixing your habits of sticking to the meal plan and then showing up like you've been doing here, you're going to notice the trajectory of your improvements, your, your body changing, your mindset changing. And yes, even if you don't lose the 5% the body on 20 pounds, right, you've, you've created a whole new person. Right? The goal here is to make you a 2.0 version of yourself. Right? So right now you're the 1.0 version. You're like, mm, mm, you know, moving slow, everything. <laughs> like, you know, like, we want to reprogram you, right? We want to install new software, new drive, and you come out of this becoming a 2.0 version, a better version, a stronger version, a happier version. Well, 3.0, then 4.0. 4.0. So you be like, remember when AOL, so AOL. A cylinder <laughs> to a 10 cylinder. <laughs> <To a> 12 <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> remember when AOL 1.0 came out? You, anybody remember AOL with the disc? I used to love when you see a guy run, and then it's like, you know, yeah. and then I, you, you used to get the disc in, of the AOL in the mail, man. John, John is John, no, this is before John is John. You're like, a kid. Yo, those like who five, those, you're like five, five years old. Like seven you know what I'm saying? Uh, and AOL will come out and you get that disc, right? So every month you like get excited, you pull the disc out of the mailbox, you pop it into your old ass IBM computer and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like the AOL 1.0, right? And then in two months, like, yo, the 2.0 version is like crazy, and you get at the 3.0, right? And that's what we want to do with you, right? We want to keep turning you into the next version of yourself and the next version and the next version. But you got to reprogram. You got to reprogram. You got to build a better program. Exactly. Program thing of it as your, as your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Reprogram. Every time you read something powerful, oh, there goes, there goes the battery, the battery, life, battery life, battery life, right? So that means that... <laughs> <laughs> you know. I even asked you before. Did you make your phone check? Ah, shit, it's at 25. I'm like, ah. You know? But, uh, but yeah, so reprogramming, reprogramming, reprogramming. You know what I'm saying? And always, always ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always ask for help. And I love, listen, I love seeing people who are asking for help on here, you know, um, and, and, and who are getting help. So everybody who's, you, I love the community, people yep. helping each other. Uh, it's amazing, it's beautiful. But you know, always go back, always go back to this, right? Always go back to this. The, you, a lot of people just got this once and they just read it once and that was it. They were like, all right. I'm not well, trying to- see results Oh, don't see results. Oh, don't see results. Yeah. Stuff like this, go back to this. Go back to this. It's like the Bible. People read the Bible over and over and over. And every time you read the scripture, it's like, it hits you different. Like, oh, I read. This uh, scripture before I read this, this this verse before I read this chapter before, but now it's like I get it even more, right? So the more you do that, the better you get at it. So right now we're like, you know, people are like, oh, I don't know what phase I'm supposed to be in. It's all in here. It's all in here. It's like, and we did a video about it, right? Two weeks if you're a beginner. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, right? If you're advanced, you've done this before. One week, four week, four weeks, right? That's it, right? Or if you're getting results and in the first phase. And now you're on phase two, and you still get results, and you don't trust yourself with a carb cycle, and you want to keep going, you can stay on phase two mm -hmm. for the rest of the challenge, right? The thing is just following the plan, right? Following the plan yep. and improving your mindset, right? Consume, consume things, read things that's going to improve. Feed this, because yes. this controls everything else. Don't worry so much about from here down. Remember, it all starts from here. Yeah. Simple as that. And don't play the comparison game. I know a lot of people are comparing, well, they, they, I saw this person lost six pounds, that person lost eight pounds. They 
the people that lose six or eight pounds, they probably have six or eight pounds to lose, you know? Again, we're all different shapes and sizes. I don't, I, if, truthfully, if I got on the scale and I lost two pounds, he would probably get on the scale, you'd probably maybe, you'd lose like maybe six or eight pounds. He's yeah. bulkier than me. Yeah. I don't have much. Yeah, I hold, I hold more, I hold more mass than him. He's juicier than me. You know me. what I'm saying? You know, I'm juicy. like a skirt steak, he's like a filet mignon. <laughs> you, know, you got a lot more pieces to lose, not I'm me. Like a, you I'm, like a, <laughs> I'm like a New York, New York, what's the strips like the rib by the end of the 18 ounce yeah, that, steak. Yeah. At the <laughs> end of the day, me losing two pounds and him losing eight pounds, we meet in the middle, we both look just as lean. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it really comes down to, you know, again, everybody's body shape's different. So don't play the, the, the comparison game, you know, or even what you see online or whatever the case may be. You know, last yeah. time in the, in the video I did the one time, you know, um, I talked about comparison, right? Like literally watching other people's journey, right? Never compare your journey to others. That's that's a recipe for just failure. failure. Yeah. It is because you don't know what their story is, right? You don't know how long they've been on the journey. You don't know what they did before this. Right, so sometimes you're like, "Well, this person does this, and I'm not getting it as fast, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop." You know, don't compare. Don't you know? John said, "Never compare." Right? You can like, you know, I use the car analogy all the time because it's good. You know, you can be in a in a four cylinder in a three cylinder, <laughs> and somebody else they is still like, make three cylinders. <laughs> No, they got an old ass Geo Prism that just keeps <laughs> driving around, you know what I'm saying? I give you but, going from a Geo Prism to SRT, <laughs> to SRT. Man, that's, some, that's some journey there, man. You know? Yeah, Dude. and that's the thing. It, your vehicle will eventually <laughs> evolve and change, right? So right now you can be in a three cylinder, but here's the thing, right? You can be that seriously, right? But how do you how do you get from a three cylinder to a four, to a five, to a six, to an eight? Is reprogramming, right? If you're in your current state and you stay in your current state and you're not getting better, right? If your goal is not to be better every day and not just be better and just like, oh, I'm going to work out today, but be better up here, mm -hmm. right? You're not, you're not, you're not changing. You're not going to change vehicles. You're going to always stay in that mindset. Like the video we played for you guys when you came in is all, all here. You can change. Is that you can change your house? You can change your your clothes. You can change your car. You can change your spouse. If you don't change your mindset, nothing's gonna, nothing's change. gonna change. And that's how you change vehicles, right? You're like, how do I get from a three cylinder to a V6 or V8? Is what are you doing up here? Because when you change this, that's the motor. That is what runs your whole fucking engine. This, right? So if you change this and you make it better. You go from three cylinder to four to six, and eventually you're like, yeah, I'm cruising. Why? Because you, you start to understand that failure is impossible. You cannot fail if you're constantly moving forward. You start to understand what the importance of motivation is and how to get motivated, how to motivate yourself, right? You start having less a negative image of yourself and doubts, and it just everything changes as you improve up here. So that's the biggest tip I can give you guys. So right now, if you're sitting here right now, you, and I said, what's the last book you read? And you tell me like, uh, uh, what's that book? F Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's not improving up here, right? <laughs> right? What's the last book, motivational book you read, inspiring book that's gonna make you better, right? Because it's like, and you know, Huh? Keep going. Sorry. No, because I feel like, and that's something that, you know, I, I feel like we failed you guys on actually letting you guys know the importance of that, because we do it all the time. Yeah. Right, we do it all the time, but it's like, it's like, man, it's, you know, it's it's more. It goes beyond just workouts, and it goes beyond just you know the nutrition. It's it's more up here, right? So if you haven't read anything empowering, if you don't watch empowering videos or or, or, or listen to audio, yeah. right? YouTube, empowering powerful. videos, podcasts, or podcasts. Just get get fired up, something to fire up. Yesterday. Me and Kiko, we're looking, we're looking for audio, right? Because I'm making this, I'm making this video for my presentation that I did over the weekend, and it's like so powerful that the guy shot us. Like, look, I want to put it together, a video, and use it. Like, so it's like, come give me a bit audio, and we're looking at this uh, uh, audio, and we, it's literally like 11 to 12 a.m. and we're looking through this audio jungle library. We're looking for audio, and this one audio comes up, and it says, it literally says, "Epic motivational," right? And we listen to it. Listen, me and Kiko got so fired up. Like, we were literally, we were like, this is it. We, like, paid $20 to buy the audio because that's how powerful things can be. Like, it literally got you motivated. Like, yo, yes, 12 a.m. in the morning, I just You're felt like, like yes, I can. Yeah, yes, yes, I, I can. can. You know, you, <laughs> yeah. like, yes, I can. You know what I'm saying? But that's the power of it. So what are you doing? It's like to, to, to get that, right? 
Like, you know, this to you, to some of you guys, easy fit is that, right? You come here, the energy is like pumped up, right? But this is only one hour in the day. And yeah. if, you, if you base your whole day out of the one hour here, it's not gonna work, you know what I'm saying? You need, what's the other 23 hours like? That's where the success is gonna come in as well, right? It's not just this one hour here, right? So that's what we're trying to get at you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it comes down to, you know, there's times like even when, uh, you know, after class, I'm not motivated to work out. Like it happens to us all. Just yeah. because we're trainers doesn't mean, you know, we're extremely motivated to yeah. work out. So what do I do? I listen to a quick video. Yes. And it's just a constant reminder of why I started, why I got into the fitness industry, why I have a passion for working out. And that's something that, you know, if you guys are going through where you're just moping around where, you know, week by week, or even this week where you, you, the scale hasn't moved or you just don't feel motivated to work out or you're extremely sore and you don't feel like going to the gym, listen to a video or get these books you know, going. Re start reading, start educating yourself. But most importantly, it's just gonna help remind you why you started. Yes. You know, it's gonna fire you up. You know? 100%. That's what I do. 100%. You know, I listen to one at five in the morning, you know, 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm driving 4.30 in the morning saying to myself, holy shit, it's 4.30 in the morning, I'm going to the gym. I gotta get fired up for you guys. I'll put a quick little Les Brown and then yeah. I'm ready to go and people are like, why do you have so much energy? And it's, it's really the secret of just, you know, wiring myself up and getting Sick. myself fired up by a little bit of motivation. 100%. You know, as a reminder of why I love working with people just like you. Exactly. You know, and, you know, working out in general. Yeah. You know, like, even like you touched on something saying like, you know, after, after like a shift, like you do a morning shift and it's like you're tired or drained. You know, willpower, it, it, so, some of you guys are like trying battery. to find willpower. It's like a battery, right? Literally, when you wake up in the morning, it's like the battery is fully charged, right? Willpower battery is like fully charged. It's like, you know, and then when you, you know, some of you might not have it fully charged and you might need to do stuff like meditate or listen to something to really charge it up. But as the day goes by with the little mundane things that you that your brain has to process every time it drains the battery. You, you, listen, you have no idea how when you let things affect you, how much it drains the battery, right? When you do little things, little tasks, like filing stuff. That's why when you go to work and all day you're working, you're filing, you're making phone calls, you're doing this, you're teaching, right? At the end of the day, you're like, fuck this, I don't feel like doing anything. Like, when I work, pisses you yeah, off. So, so like, when somebody <laughs> pisses you quick. off, it's like from and, your mind, and, you, and you give a damn every time you let your mind race towards giving a damn about something that drains your battery. At the end of the day, you don't, listen, you went from here and now your charge is here. You don't want to do anything. You have no drive to do so anything because all day, the little <laughs> bullshit things in life is draining you. So the biggest thing you could do for yourself is literally stop giving a fuck about the little <laughs> bullshit. The news. Life's the, short, people. Life, like, like the news <laughs> drains your willpower. Everything, <laughs> anything negative drains your batteries. At the end of the day, the more you give a fuck about other stupid things, people get it. <laughs> the poster made on Facebook. You're looking at Facebook feeds and you see all this crappy stuff that's going on and you're letting it affect you. It's draining you. News. I don't watch news. I don't need to know the crap that's going on out there because it's just gonna, it's gonna drain you. And by the end, when it's time for you to do something that matters for yourself, you don't feel like doing it. Why? Because everybody done suck your life away. Or you're negative. Or now you're charged. Your positive charges went negative. And now you don't feel like doing anything. Every you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the thing is like, every day when you wake up, the less fucks given about bullshit out there, the better off you are. So again, mindset, right? Don't let, don't let, people, don't let people affect you, man. Don't let people, negativity get into you. That's going to just sap you. And at the end of the day, it's like, you're like, I don't feel like doing anything. And then your whole day is ruined, you know? Yeah. And then that can be, and then the next morning, if you don't do anything, if you don't listen to audio, you don't read a book, you don't watch something powerful, you go to sleep like that, you wake up the next day, your battery's not fully charged. Your battery's like still here, right? You wake up stressed. You wake up stressed, you wake up tired, you wake up not feeling like doing anything. And guess what? You start your day off here, and now you let things get to you again. Now you wonder why you've been just going around. No smile on your face, stressed out, tired, just negative, right? Going through it's the motions. Going through the motions. It's because you're just letting these things affect you, right? And you need to charge. You need to learn. You need to do things that's going to get you charged up, get you fired up, right? In here, we try to help you with that, right? But again, this is just one hour of the day. What else are you doing in the 23 hours that's getting you fired up, getting you charged up, getting you ready, right? 
that's what that that's that's the key to achieving anything you want mm -hmm. right so everybody who's doing this journey this challenge or whatever and you feel stuck what are you doing to get fired up it's not the it's not just this it's not yeah. just this what else are you doing to get fired up right up here to make you stick to the other 80 percent of nutrition and then get the results right that's what i'm talking about Anything else you want to add, man? Yeah, just a My quick phone tip. is about to die. I got like okay, five, I'll, I'll five percent. <laughs> tip, you know, the minute you wake up in the morning, the first ten minutes of your day, fill yourself with some form of motivation. It doesn't have to be whether it's a video, yes. reading a, uh, a quick ten pages out of a book, or what I typically do, I make my bed. I notice days that I, when I make my bed, to me that makes me feel fulfilled, yes. and everything else in my day is like a domino effect. Mm -hmm. When I don't make my bed in the morning. It automatically pre-frames my mind as like, damn, I didn't make my bed, so then I have a shitty day. So whether it's waking up in the morning and knowing like, damn, I gotta get this protein shake down, but you know if you drink that protein shake, it's gonna make you feel excited, like, wow, you know what? I'm ready to take, take on this day. You're gonna have a good day. So that, that's my quick advice. Yes. Is first 10 minutes of your day, do something that makes you feel fulfilled, and I'm telling you, it's gonna set up your day, and you know. Frank is saying I take yeah. my, my pre-workout. <laughs> 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 Pre-workout. Yo, <laughs> take pre-workout, listen to the DMX. Have Woo! It. You know, don't like, give it to you. You know, don't give it to you. Take some pre-workout in the morning, <laughs> put some plus of DMX, yeah. and, you, and you're fired up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But yeah, Jad is 100% right. Yeah, the, right. How you start up your day, it will set up your entire sets your day. Entire. It literally does. That first 10 it's minutes the in the morning. It's the same concept of like, I had a shitty know? morning. So then what happens? You have a shitty day. Yep. It's the same as I think. Yep. It so. made my bed this morning. Yeah, lazy. <laughs> Make me feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Awesome, man. But yeah, so we're gonna, you know, um, leave you guys with that but um again like i said you know up here all right so the last three weeks in this challenge what the goal now is to empower yourself up here and follow the instructions keep doing this right you need to do this right the 20 percent right because it's going to get you the full uh, results you want but yep. it's not just about the workouts right some yep. of you who are doing this and thinking it's about the workouts there it's more than that right so let's fix everything let's get in that right mindset and let's just fuck shit up man yeah. fsu all the way guys all right <laughs> ain't never known someone that's <laughs> oh, yeah, shut what? up that's the last three hours later yeah. <laughs> yo bye michelle bye yeah. peace out guys Peace. <laughs>